not one, but two packages in the mail. It's mail call time. Before we go through these mail calls, uh, let's go over the stuff that I found that I've been picking up for the last couple of days. So recently I saw this 20 pack featured on a channel. Um, and I say this 20 pack, you know, 20 packs are always different. There's different cars in them. It was that Corvette. And yeah, it was, it was the Mustang Hunter. He, uh, he got up to 20 pack and he was featuring that Corvette and I was like, Hey, that's cool. I'm going to go and find it. So I went and I found the 20 pack because it also has the Lam this color variation of a Lamborghini I don't have. It had the purple color variation of a Lamborghini that I don't have, but it has that. It had the new color of the Porsche GT3. And uh, oh, I was excited to see that. Normally you see this car and it's white, but that's the new, that's the new gray. That's the new silver, silver, or gray, whatever. It's cool. It's cool. I'll be, we're going to be opening this In fact, Let's, let's open it so that we can get a better look at that Porsche. I always hang on to the box and the packaging because, uh, it's good for storm cars later. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. So there it is. Normally you see this car. And it's white. It's the white one. Which I, I already have the white one. Oh, now I need places to put stuff. Bumping the camera. So I have the white one. Let's get the white one down real quick so you, so you see what I'm talking about. Here it is. Normally, or lately, we've been seeing this car in these 20 packs. And you still find them in the 20 pack. You still find the white one. But there's there's the silver. So I was pretty stoked this 20 pack had that the new color variation of this car or this Porsche. Very cool, very cool stuff. Um, and like I said, and then there are other cars in here. I'll just leave this here. We pull it from there. I mean, look at this Corvette. Look at that. Hot Wheels. This livery is very cool. I'm guessing with the number, it's a 64. So. Let's see what it says here. I don't see that it says what Corvette it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, 64. Corvette Stingray. That looks really good. That looks really good. The other variations of this car they have, have a red one that has the white meatball on it. And I got the, the white one with the black meatball. And now there's this black and red with the meatball that has the 64 in it meatball that's not my term that's a term that the mustang hunter uses and now i'm going to adopt it it's a great way of describing what it is so that corvette very cool it's a very cool corvette. now these two lamborghinis um I always look it up here this is the gallardo lp 560-4 I have a bunch of these. They're in jammers, um, but I don't have. They didn't have this color. This is the. This is a new color for this car. So I was pretty stoked to get that. You got good back detailing. Got a Lamborghini right there. Headlights are done. Man, that paint. Look at how nice and like deep that paint is. I like it. So new color variation of. That one and then this purple one. This is new. Or if it's not new, I don't have it. I didn't have it. I don't have this in purple. I mean, I have this car. The Huracan LP, what's that? The 610-4. Okay. I have a bunch of these. I just didn't have it in purple. So now I have it in purple. So I don't know if this is a new color for this car. Or... Or if, you know, or if it's just one I just didn't have. 
No, uh, no rear tail light detailing. Interesting. Very cool though. Very cool. And you know, the rest of the pack, there's some, there are some cool cars in this pack. Um, like I'm going to steal the wheels off of this. This is going to, these wheels will be used in a custom. I'll probably throw those on a bone shaker. I uh, have this carded. So now I have it loose, have it carded, have it loose, have it. Do I have this carded? I do. I have that carded. Now I have it loose. Same with this one here. This looks cool. Honestly, because like I said, I have this carded and now I have this one loose. I think I'm going to steal the wheels off this and use it on a bone shaker. Because, you know, those wheels are cool. I like the white walls. Need some headlight details. But yeah, you know, so there are some other cool cars in this 20 pack. Um, this is a very good setup for this 20 pack. But that's the one I'm excited about. The new color of that Porsche. Uh, let's set those Porsches up over there. Let me get this thing out of the way. Let's set this 20 pack down. Hopefully that doesn't fall. All right, other things that I have found. Um, I found the treasure hunt pixel shaker. So this is the first pixel shaker that I've bought. And I know, you know, it's based off of the bone shaker and I should probably be getting all of them because of that. But I don't know. It really wasn't talking to me. You know, I wasn't like, Oh, I really got to have the pixel shaker. But you know, now that I found the treasure hunt, I grabbed the treasure hunt. Guess what? Now I'm gonna have to G, now I'm gonna have to go out there and try and find all of them. Um, and just be a completionist when it comes to bone shakers and and the like, so. But yeah, found the treasure hunt pixel shaker. I'm not sure what case that's out of. C, okay, C case. Um, I was in a fries, I just happened to stop into this fries. Uh, it's not one that's like around my house, it's kind of on the way home from work and I'm like, yeah, I got time. I went in and I'm so glad that I did because I found the DeLorean, the Back to the Future Monster Truck DeLorean. This thing is very cool. You got the, I mean, the detailing in this, the front end's all done up. I mean, just the detailing in this, the, the, the way the engine bay is, the different colors that are down in there, you know, the taillights. I, I, I love how detailed this is. This is very cool. I've seen others get this and and, uh, and post it on their channels and review it and talk about it. Uh, I'm telling you, it's so much cooler when it's in your hands and you're looking at it. So I was so stoked. I was so happy to find this. Um, also in a fries, but now this, this thing I found, this was in the fries that's by my house. And I thought it was cool. I couldn't, I mean, it's the new, uh, race team, Hot Wheels race team, five pack. And when you go through here and you see the cars that are in here, it's just cool. Look at the truck. Look at that Ford Lightning right there. And then the Camaro. Um, I'm looking at this. I'm going to say this is based on how the back is set up. This has got to be international. But these are the cars that are in here. These three especially. This is cool. It's the only, I mean, that's the first time I've had that and that's a fantasy car. This is the first time I've gotten this cast in a setup. So that's the, the one and only that I have. But it's all race team. That Ford Lightning looks really cool. I really need to find a second one of these. So I'm gonna be on the lookout. I'm gonna be stocking my fries now, looking for a second one of these. Uh, hopefully I find it before the Mustang Hunter does and I can send it to him. That's the whole reason why I'm going to try and find a second one so I can send the Mustang Hunter one. Um, let me see, is there anything else that I found? I think that's all that I have found. So let me slide these Porsches over before we jump into this. Before we jump into this, check this out. Fordsman84, he hooked this up. Look at this. This is the new Bone Shaker monster truck and I got, guys, I got it, he, uh, I picked it up from him and as you know, he just lives down the street. So I picked it up from him and I couldn't wait. I opened it, I took it out of his packaging. 
Look at this thing. This thing is cool. So it's the new Bone Shaker Monster Truck, white wall tires. This thing is so cool. It's a two pack, so it came with this car. Now, what's, what's cool about this Bone Shaker is, it's a gloss finish. They've done this color in livery two other times. Let me bring them down so I can show you the difference in them. Um, you have the satin finish with the steelies and the gold rim. You have the flat. So there's the satin, here's the flat with it's a different wheel variation, white rim, uh, five spoke. And then you have this gloss, which is the latest, the gloss finish. Same steelies with the gold rim, but satin, gloss, and flat. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know, I think that's very cool. So, I'll put these back up in the display case. And I'll set that down here for now so we can look at it. Let's get that, let's get it back set up the way I had it here, so. That's cool. That's very cool. All right, so went to my mailbox. Sammy, Sammy sent a package. I got one from Sammy. I have no idea what's inside here, so this will be a fun little adventure to open this up. Um, I know Sammy does customs. I'm not saying that that's what's in here, but I know that's one of the things he does is customs. And then this, this came from Dotson Man Diecast. And I know what's in this box. Uh, at least I know one of the things that's in this box. I'm not sure if he put extras in here. I'm not expecting him to. But a while back, I participated in a charity auction. And one of Dotson Man Diecast Customs was up in this charity auction. I bought two cars from that charity auction. Um, here, let me show you the other one I got. I bought that. I bought this bone shaker from it, which is gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Love this, love this, love this. I bought this custom from Dotson Man Diecast. And as you can see over here, I've got several customs and there's more that, that you know travel along the back wall there. Um, as you can see, let me turn this camera a little bit so you can see. So these are these are my customs. There's a couple more up on the up on the wall over there in the case. But I have these customs here. And each one of those are from a different builder and it's like having a little piece of art from different artists and i've gotten several cars from dotson man uh, the guy he is one of the most generous kind-hearted charitable you know people i know um but i don't have anything that's a custom of his so i'm excited i'm excited to open this up and show you guys this custom because you're, you're gonna love it the pictures of it amazing all right Let's see what Sammy sent. Let's see what Sam sent. I got a trusted blade. Okay, there's a lot of tape on this box. Let's just give this a cut right here. So much tape. Okay, that should hopefully do it. It may not do it. <laughs> so much tape. Okay. Let's see, hopefully, hopefully this does it. Here we go. Come on, man. Okay, here we go. All right. There's a little note right here. Thank you, bro. Hope you like these cars, Sammy. Thanks, Sam. We'll put that over here. I know I'm gonna love these cars. So, I think it's best if I can just get it all out of the box and then I can put the box off to the side. So let's do that first. side uh, before we go through these let's open up these loose let's see what we got here loose let's get this one out of this bubble wrap 
Oh yeah, look at that. Another stingray. Um, this feels like is this. Okay, it's it's a it's a metal cast, metal cast, plastic plastic base. Stingray Corvette. Very cool. That will go up there with the with the other Corvettes. And the one that I just got in the uh, in the 20 pack. All right, here's another one. What do we got here? Oh, look at this. This actually is the second version of this cast that I have. Of this bug, of this Baja. Got a deck of cards on it. Aces. Ace of spades. Very cool. 1983. I wonder when this one was released. I mean, obviously, this is when it was casted, or when the cast came out, was in 1983. So I wonder if this was a 1980s car, or if it was earlier. I'm gonna have to look that up. Do a little research on that, find out how old that car is. Uh, what's this? Ooh, a racer. We're gonna look at the racer last. Guys, and you know, he brings up the racer. You can still see I've got the competitors lined up. The races are gonna happen. Uh, I just, I have to get the track finished and completed before I jump into it. I don't wanna start racing on an incomplete track. I can see that this is a Porsche. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Sammy, this is cool. This is very cool. Um, man, I love it. I love all the nicks and scratches and the, the fact that it was played with. Dang, this is nice. I don't have it. And uh, man, this, yeah, this will go up into my collection. Do I have another one of these cast things? I feel like I do. But I don't have this livery. You know, I'm looking at my display case over here. And I don't see that I have another one of these of this particular cast. That is very cool. Very cool. Sammy, thanks for this Porsche. I love it. I love the Porsche. I'm gonna start focusing harder on collecting Porsches and bone shakers. Uh, doesn't mean that I'm not gonna pick up other castings ever. Uh, I'm just really gonna start focusing on those Porsches and those bone shakers. All right, we're looking at the racer last, so let's see what we have in here carded. I'm not sure how this is taped, but look. Slide that plastic off, get that plastic out of the way. Up first. Oh, look at that. The 32 Ford Vicky. Um, I have, I don't have this livery. I think this makes number three for the Vickies that I have. So, um, yeah, that's cool. I don't, yeah, it's only three that I have of this. The other two that I have, um, I picked up at the uh, speed shop out in, out in Mesa. It's all, the ones I have are all metal casting though. I don't know if this is an all metal cast. That looks like it might be a plastic base. So I'm not sure how old this one is. 2009? Got some pretty good age to it. 32 Ford Vicky, very cool. Set that there, what do we got here? Oh, cool. The Aston Martin V12 Speedster. Now it's funny, I haven't picked this car up. I've seen it on the pegs. I've actually, you know, put it in my hands and looked at it and for whatever reason, I just didn't put it in the piles to buy it. Um, but man, look at that. See, you just gotta take a closer look at these. That's cool. V12 on the back. I wonder how come they did the license plate but no tail lights. This thing is cool. I should have, I should have picked it up when you know, getting all the other cars is from a case. I didn't, but uh, I have it now. Sam, Sammy, thank you, thank you for that hookup right there. Thank you for that hookup. What do we have here? Now, I, this is the second one of these I have. I did pick this up. I commented on it. I talked about how ugly it is. I love the cast. Absolutely love the cast. This Dodge Dart 
casting is really good. The proportions on it are good. Uh, I hate the, I don't, I guess I shouldn't say hate. I really don't like the, the paint job on this or the wheels. The fact that they went with like clown car wheels. So this is the second one. Like I said, I've picked, I picked one up. I bought it because of the cast. Um, I think maybe just a simple wheel swap, even if you left the paint, if you just did a wheel swap on this, it would look so much better. And that's probably what's gonna happen with this right here. And I know Sammy will approve of that because he does a ton of wheel swaps himself. Check this out. The Toyota E86, e AE86. Here we go, the Sprinter Reno. Drift car. Uh, I don't know if anybody watches uh, Tenacious D, but that's where this came popular. It's basically a Corolla. Well, it is a Corolla, it's a Toyota Corolla. Um, but in Japan, I guess these are big deal drift cars. So there are there are more people who know more about this than I do. I just know that this this car gained its popularity as a drifter, as a drift car to modify for that in the drifting scene. Um, and there was the the movie and cartoon uh, Tenacious D that uh, that brought it a lot of the popularity that it has. Now I grabbed one of these. This is a recent one too. This is B case. I grabbed one of these, but then there's one of my daughter's friends. Um, he's friends with her boyfriend, or whatever. But he's a he was talking about Hot Wheels, and I asked him what his favorite car was, and he actually said this car, and I was like, well, okay. So I grabbed the one that I bought and I gave it to him. He was over the moon. He couldn't believe that Hot Wheels actually made this, and I told him, I'm like, you should probably go check out Hot Wheels. There's more cars, you know, variations than you think. So yes, it's back in the collection because I did have it, I gave it away, and now I have it again. Very cool, Sammy. All right, let's see what his racer is. I can tell you right now, it's heavy. This is heavy, it's taped up pretty good here. Um, okay, I'm gonna take a, a blade to this because I'm not gonna just be able to slide this out the back. So let's, let's carefully try and Cut this, cut this away, here we go. Oh my, look at this thing. Look, oh, look at this. Dude, this got some weight to it too. This is cool. It's like a, it's almost like a futuristic cop car. Paint that little knobby right there on the top of it, red, like, a, like it was a, a it would be a cop car. I don't know anything about this. Does anybody know anything about this cast? I don't even know what it's called. A Warner? Is that what that says? Warner? Like Kurt Warner, the quarterback? Uh oh. Ooh, it's got good wheel spin. Okay. You will be put in the lineup for the races. Got some heavy, heavy stuff. You're gonna go right behind Amanda Ferrari's Ford Mustang. So there you are, Sammy. You're set up. When the races start, you're in the lineup. Now let's open up this box from Dotson Man so that we can see this custom that he did and then auctioned it off at that charity auction. All right, looking at this, if I go here, I think cutting this is pretty, you know, it looks pretty straightforward. Cut along that line, and then we can cut along that line, that should do it. Hey. <laughs> Dotson man, he actually sent me, let me show you, let me get this off, what's hanging on the wall over here. He sent this to me a while back. A while back I had gotten COVID and was down for the count and then he sent me a care package and in that care package he sent a first edition bone shaker. And that's where I got this, is from him. So, so yeah, like I said, he, when he gives you stuff, 
it's always fire. Now I can see that in this box, and you guys can see that there's more in here than just one car. There's more in here than just one custom. So let's let's go through this and see what what Mark sent. Okay, check this out. Porsche. I don't know. I don't know anything about Siku. Wonder if it's all metal. Yeah, I don't know anything about this brand. I've never even heard of it before, but that that looks good. Yeah, that looks really good. Um, I wonder. I think eventually I'm gonna take this out of this plastic and get a closer look at it because that's some that's some really thick plastic it's in too. So, all right. Next, what else is in here? We got a lot of packaging. Let's get this packaging out of the way. Oh, oh, oh. Very cool. And I'm glad that this came along. Look at that. It's official. <gasps> I'm, glad I looked, I'm, I'm glad I looked down inside this box. Look. Datsun Man Diecast. I'm going to set that right there next to the Mustang Hunter. Look at this, a 50th anniversary. Very cool. Guys, I don't know how, like you just gotta love the bone shaker. Well, I guess you don't have to, but I sure as heck do. I love this bone shaker. Not too many casts of the bone shaker have a black motor. Most of them don't, most of them have chrome. There's not too many cars that have that that deviate from the chrome motor and, and headers and pipes. Um, so this is one of them that does have, it has the black motor. Let's set that up there. Put the Porsche up there. And check this out, a set of wheels. He's encouraging me to do some custom work. Okay, I'm gonna set that box over here. Thanks for these wheels. Those are nice. They're they're real real riders. Those are rubber. So now I gotta find something to put those on. Probably a Porsche. Probably a Porsche. Very cool. Set those right there. Okay. Now this. This. This is what I want you guys to see. Cause here's the custom. Um, we're gonna start with the hauler. We're gonna start with the hauler. Uh, where's my blade? I'm gonna cut this tape right here. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this tape right like that. Oh, didn't cut it enough. I don't want to go too deep because oh man look at this let me get it the rest of it out of the plastic one of the things that mark does so well is turning things silver so here's the hauler Now this was, did you change the wheels on this too? Cause I think, I, so I believe when I saw the picture of this, before I get too far into this, I think that hauler used to be purple like this. So he took this and he turned it into this. So he went silver with it from the purple. Man, that looks factory. Yeah, this hauler used to be purple. So there's that. I'm pretty sure that's this is the that's the truck he used. Let me. Oops. 
I'm knocking things down over here. Sorry guys, bear with me a second. So this, well, you know what that is. So if you recognize this hauler and you recognize RWB, then you know what I'm about to open. And I'm so excited to open this up. Of course, I gotta be careful with it because it's a custom and if I, if I mess it up, I can't fix it. I don't wanna mess it up. So bear with me. Oh my gosh, this thing looks amazing. Yes. So what he's known for is, is polishing cars. I've seen him do it. I've seen him do it to, uh, to the 510 wagons. But check this out, guys. Look at that. Look at those wheels. So he took this car took the purple car and he turned it into this look at that and I got my fingerprints all over it I'm gonna clean it off real quick and clean these prints off of it and then this is gonna go in a display case oh mark that thing is gorgeous so gorgeous. I'm glad I participated in that charity auction. And I'm glad that I was the highest bidder on this car. Because now I have a Datsun Man, a Datsun Man diecast custom. Check that out. That is so cool. Ah, uh, here, I gotta remove this thing. Now, so we remove that to there. I'm gonna scoot. So this is this is from Ivan's Ivan at Ivan's custom garage. He did that one for me. But moving Ivan, he's gonna scoot back just a little bit, and then we're gonna set that one right there. Look at that! Look at that! Look at how cool that looks. That's dope. I'm so happy. I'm so happy about that right there. Dotson man, thank, thanks for sending that to me. Thanks for, for participating in that charity auction and, and having your work there for me to have an opportunity to purchase. I'm so happy and I'm so excited to have a Dotson Man diecast custom now with the rest of these fine artists over here. Fine, fine artist. Maybe one day I'll go through and I'll tell you, I'll tell everybody who, who made these cars. I mean, this one down here on bottom, everybody knows that one. That's a Hewitt's Hot Wheels right there. James, James made that one for me. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is my, this is, this is, this car right here is the one that's my banner for my YouTube channel. So that one was Jeremy made that one for me. Mr. Van Meter, very cool. These are just all cool cars. Uh, that one is Brandon, liver die cast. He did this one. And then we all know that's Andre Cruz's Porsche. That's Dougie die cast right there. That's a Dougie die cast Porsche. That's a Grandpa Larry right here. Anyway, you guys, you know what? Uh, before I get, get, get too out of hand, I'm gonna Maybe I'll do a video where I tell you everybody who made these customs that I have over here. And that one, Dots and Man Diecast. Mark, that is awesome. Okay, guys, that's what I have. That's what I have found. Um, Sammy, thank you so much for sending all this. This is this stuff's amazing. I really, really like this. I like that it's a Porsche I didn't have and that I'm able to add to my collection. I love it. Um, you know, I love the fact that Ford's man hooked me up with this little setup right here. Uh, but yeah, we're here. We're here at the end of the video. It is time for a photo montage. And I'm debating I really should do. I am. The photo montage 
is going to be the brand new custom that I just got. Oh, that's gorgeous. Here we go, photo montage. 